If you want to save your canvas, we're going to need to use file management. Here I have a canvas where I've made multiple pages and I have movable objects and whatnot. So let's find the folder in our main toolbar, select it, and this is going to open up file management. To save your file and put it in a specific location, you're going to use the floppy disk with the pencil. This is the save as button. And when you click on it, it's going to first show your local storage. So basically saving on your desktop and you can choose where to save it. Or if you have your cloud storage connected, you can choose your cloud storage, which is next to the local storage. So let's save this here in my Google Drive. And I'm going to give this a name. So you'll see file name down at the bottom. You can name it whatever you want to. And notice that it saves as a .vboard file. This is really for the teacher because it keeps the file interactive. It allows you to go back and edit, make changes, and do all that kind of stuff. When you're ready to save, click on the check mark icon, and then you'll see here that it is uploading to my cloud storage. The way that I know it's saved is at the very top, you can see it shows the Google Drive icon and the title I gave it. Now, when you are using your lesson and you make modifications or changes. So for example, if I drag a couple of these triangles over, changes have been made to my lesson, although it's not saved automatically. So if I wanna save it, go to File Management and click the floppy disk without a pencil. This is the Save button and what it'll do is it'll save any changes to the original file wherever you put it. So this is gonna automatically make changes to Art Lesson 1 in Google Drive. If I wanna make a new presentation, click on the blue piece of paper on the far left. When you do, it's gonna ask you to make sure if you wanna save or don't save, you'll get lots of those notifications. And here we have a brand new blank canvas. Now, if I wanna go back and open one of those vboard files that I've made, again, go to File Management. This time we're gonna choose the folder with the document inside of it. Again, it's going to first give us the choice of our local storage, or I can choose what's called original content. So these are pre-built lessons that you can open and you can filter by subject over here on the right. Or if we want to be able to open from our cloud storage, just choose your cloud storage and go to the folder where you originally saved your file. Again, these are saved as vboard files. So this is going to allow me to open up an interactive file and make changes or edits. So let's open farm counting here. You'll see it downloads and here's my presentation.